Hi everybody, this is Jay Love, and I'm back again with another video. Now, I, ain't, I just put my SD card into my Samsung Galaxy S7, and I done used up pretty much my storage. My main storage is uh, 27, you know, 01, and uh, as you can see. The phone only comes with 32. Okay, it's a 32 model, but uh, I done used up some space on my phone. So yeah, I just put in the SD card and um, the system has using it up. So it's five gigabytes, 538. All right, and as you can see that I have the full up is one eighty three all right one eighty three all right, so I got a hundred and eighty three okay to use up before it gets full, okay for all y'all that don't know that all right this is a two hundred gigabyte okay 200 gigabyte but you know the system you know takes up you know what i'm saying some of that memory on the sd card and then you also have you know the other memory that gets taken up you know because people don't understand whenever you buy like a phone or you buy an sd card you know um the main system on the on the phone has to run and then apps, you know, take up some space that data stuff gets on there and that's what happens, you know. So the same thing when you buy an SD card, you know, you're you're gonna it's gonna get used up. You know? So yeah. We're gonna go ahead and click on the SD card, you know. Um, when you first set it up, you know, you put it in, you're just going to get those two, but, um, I just went ahead and went to my camera and, uh, you know, set it for SD card. And that's why you see the top one showed up All right, onto my SD card. So the folder has popped up for my camera. Okay. So yeah for my camera so that way when I take pictures videos and all that stuff it's gonna go straight on to my SD card now I will be adding my playlist so I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all I'm gonna go ahead and add my playlist but I'm just gonna show y'all that that's you know that's my camera stuff right there so uh, we're gonna go ahead and go back and I'm gonna go to my regular storage and stuff like that and i'm gonna copy you know my music folder all right eric <laughs> music 2017 so we're gonna go ahead and copy this whole thing all right so we're gonna copy this to my sd card so y'all actually gonna get to see it live copying all right to my sd card so we're gonna click move all right, we're going to stroll this thing up right here. And we're going to click on SD card. All right, and we can go ahead and put it on there. So I'm showing y'all the writing speeds right now. All right, so it's copying my whole playlist that I have on my phone. All right, so yeah. Right there, I automatically got three... three um 13 gigabytes so that's how much you know music i have on this phone so the writing speeds are decent you know it's actually good because it's writing on there very good this is the first time of me writing something on here so I definitely want to show y'all that live to show y'all that um it's writing on here decent so it's got faster speeds, as you can see, as y'all can see. So it's copying all of my music that I have in my folder. 
So it's because, you know, I definitely want to say it's a little bit faster. It's a little bit faster than my uh, thumb drive. When I put my thumb drive into my phone, it actually uh, copies it a lot, a, a little bit more faster. You know, when I am, um, you know, putting it onto my, um, you know, onto my phone and putting it onto the SD card. I mean, putting it onto the to the thumb drive. Cause when I copy stuff, you know, on my or well, when I take stuff off my phone onto my thumb drive, you know, um, it copies a little bit, a little bit. But I have to say, SD cards are a little bit more faster. So they're a little bit more faster, at, as you can see, you know. So they write a lot more faster. Uh, so I just want to say that. For y'all out there that don't know, SD cards write a lot more faster than an actual thumb drive. Okay? So, as you can see, you can see the amount of how much storage and all that. So, yeah. This is... So, yep. So, it has four folders. Yep. So, it just tells me how much you know, folders I have says zero, you know, so y'all can actually see so it's E, Jamaica, reggae, I mean reggae, zero songs in that, zero songs in my E in downloads, zero songs in that, and then, uh, you know, we got uh, two folders. All right, and then you already see the amount for E, two thousand and seventeen. You see how much music I have. All right, that just shows you how much music I have. All right, that's two hundred and fifteen. <laughs> you know I'm not even gonna do that, <laughs> but y'all see the amount, man. I'm just gonna just say y'all. Y'all see the two sum, all right? So. Y'all see that, and it just, you see all my music, all my music, I see my albums, yes, I have the Linkin Park, and yes, y'all see how much, see that, yeah, so, I like this because each folder tells you how much all your music is, is. so the main folder tells you how much music you have, and this is one thing that I do like because um, you can tell how much music is in one folder. And that's what I like. You know, you can tell how much music is in one folder. So, you know how much is in there, you know. So, yeah, that's one thing I like. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and click on camera. There's nothing in it right now. So, it's empty. As you can see, it's empty. So, um, yeah. So, Let's go back and see the gigabytes went up. So, yep. Yep. So now my playlist is on. My playlist right now is on my SD card. So that's one thing I like. So as you can see, the thing went up. So yeah. All right. Now I just want to definitely want to say that um one thing I did notice um when you do put the SD card in, it automatically tell you how much you know gigabytes and whatnot. Now you got one twenty eight, but uh when you first put the SD card in and you write to it. Um, before you write to it, it'll automatically tell you the, the amount that I told you. Um, it automatically say five something or whatever. That part, um, it'll just say that into the time beam. And two, you um put something on it, then it will actually tell you the original amount. Okay, so it actually won't go up. That part will go down. Now it's whatever you write to it. This is what it's actually going to tell you right here. Mine says 241. Okay.
So that's how much gigabytes I used up on the on the uh SD card. And you see how my phone memory went went down, you know. So yeah. That's what it is right there. So it'll just tell you what amount for the time beam right there. It won't say like zero or anything like that when you first put an SD card in. It won't say that. It'll just, you know, if you have a newer phone, you know, like the Samsung Galaxy S7 or the uh, Samsung Galaxy um, S8 or whatever new phone. Um, when you swipe down your screen and you first put the SD card in, it will tell you that once it's in and the phone and booted up and everything, if you put the put the SD card in and boot the phone up and give it a few seconds, it'll pop up and detect the SD card and tell you that um it's ready to write. You know, it's it's ready to put stuff on the SD card. Okay. And you can automatically click on it and um it'll it'll pop up the folder. As you can see, it'll pop it up just like this. And um it only have these two folders at the bottom you know and then you'll be able to you know copy all your stuff so that's all it is you'll be able to copy all your stuff onto your sd card so you can click back and go to your you know your regular memory so you can go back to your regular memory and copy all your files that you had on your phone onto the sd card and once you get done it'll automatically tell you how much you have left okay it automatically tell you how much left and I definitely have to say I love Samsung for this because they put it in the my files you know um, app let's just say that before you didn't really see this right here you didn't really see this this amount and stuff for the SD card and for the um, you know storage you always had to go to settings and then go to storage and then you'll be able to see the amount and stuff like that. So I'm happy that it's right here. So every time I click on my files, I'll be able to know how much I have straight off the SD card and straight off my phone memory. So that's one thing I love. I love this feature inside of the my files, you know. So, yeah, I definitely have to say that. So for people out there that love music like I do and whatnot get you an SD card so that way you know you can store all your stuff straight onto your SD card and you don't have to worry about running out of space so that's one thing I'm happy about I have a 200 gigabyte SD card in this phone right now and I have a lot of space all right I was going to get a 128 um SD card but they had a 201 so I was like you know what I got to pick that one up and so I can have more memory, okay? So yeah. Now you know the system takes it up with that 128. So you're looking at 119. I just have to tell y'all that, you know, with that one. So same forward with the uh, 64, with the 32. You, you know what I'm saying? So that's that's just what it is. But yeah, all right. So every SD card takes up. You know that's that that uh storage so it does take up a little bit of that storage because it has to run everything on your phone so that's basically what it is you know so i love sd cards because i love higher sd cards that's one thing i like now you know they're making sd cards good and they have different types of sd cards so you know that's one thing so they have different types of sd cards that's one thing about it that are out now so you know, you can get any type of branding from SD cards now. So, I told y'all before, I like Samsung and I like SanDisk. So, those are my only two that I like so much. Those are the ones that I like. So, I just have to put that out there. That's just me, but anybody else, I mean, it's whatever you like, you know. So, yeah. Okay? So, if you have a Samsung Galaxy S7, S8, then... uh. You will see your storage right here when you automatically click on my files and you'll see your storage. That's all it is right there. 
and you get to see how much, you know. And that's one thing that they did change with the system update. Um, I know before, you know, whatever you used up, you know, um, you know, it was different. But now they changed it. So now they changed it. They changed it so that way you will it'll show you how much you used up. So it'll be all together. So that's one thing right there. It tells you right there how much you used up. And that's one thing I like. So it tells you how much you use up. And that's a good thing. You know. So yeah. That's one thing I like. So. Alright, this your boy J Love. And um I definitely wanted to talk about the SD card and the writing speeds. And uh, you know, just showing y'all, you know, that you can copy everything that you need on your phone straight onto the SD card. And that's one thing. So make sure you uh put that thumbs up and thank you for watching my video. Subscribe to my page if you're new. Alright, and hit that bell so you can get more videos from me. And also hit that comment section because I definitely want to know how you feel. Uh, what kind of SD card do you have? Do you have a 200 gigabyte like me? Or do you have, you know, at 128? Do you have a 64, 32? I mean, let me know what's up. Alright? So, yeah. Or let me know if that you're using thumb drives. You know? And you got those for right now. You know? Because I know some people that have the, uh, you know, the Note uh, 5. And it doesn't come with the... You know what I'm saying? The SD card slot. So you have to use the little thing that I was talking about in my last video. The thumb drive and the little thing that you just plug up to the phone. And you have that extra space. That extra memory and stuff like that on the go. So yeah. Okay. Or you can get the SD, SD card thing and uh, click it in. And you'll be able to have that extra space. So yeah. Right? But it's good that uh, you know Samsung brought it back. Because it's a healthy feature for phones. You know, you don't have to carry all that extra, you know, thumb drives and stuff like that. Just to copy a whole bunch of stuff and pictures and moments and stuff like that. You can just slap it onto an SD card. And that's one thing I like. So, thank you, Samsung, for bringing it back. The SD card slot. You know, you missed it in other phones. You know, you had to get different ones. Especially with the S6, you know. Um, you had to get the other uh, 3264 or the 128 version, and that was your memory. You know, you might as well just say that was an iPhone. <laughs> Android iPhone. I'm just saying, Android iPhone with the S6. <laughs> uh, they did the Note like that, too. So, the Note 5, you know. Um, yeah. So, you might as well just say those two phones are the iPhone uh, Android. <laughs> But yeah, man, I love Samsung, man. I'm happy that they brought the SD card slot back. So that's good. And that this time it's actually inside the phone. And that's a great thing. I love that, right? So I uh, definitely wanted to say that. And um, I'll see y'all in the next video, all right? So yeah.